When it comes to pricing our services, there is a common teaching that tells us that we should charge what we're worth, right? And I, that idea has, has always bothered me because how much are you worth? I'm not talking about how much you have in your bank account. I mean, even that is a terrible way to judge a human being's worth. What is a human being's worth? Is it, are, is, is, are you worth $100 an hour? Are you worth $5 an hour? That's a terrible way to think about it. Okay, so, so I think a human being, I think you are worth an infinite amount. It's really unquantifiable how much you're worth. It makes more sense to talk about charging what makes sense for your services in the market. So let's stop saying charge what you're worth. Let's just saying charge what the market rate is for your services. Okay, charge what the market rate is. Right? Because when, when people have tried to follow the charge which you're worth teaching, they end up raising their prices and there's also a common lie that says, well, when you raise your prices, you actually get more clients. Baloney. <laughs> okay. I've tried it myself. I've seen lots of other people try it and it hasn't worked. Basically, when you raise your prices to what, you're, what you think you're worth, again, danger when you connect monetary worth to your own self-worth, very dangerous because you start to look at other people who charge more as somehow being more worthy human beings and they're not we are all equal okay and so again when people charge more they often find that the, they have less clients because the market essentially says well I'm not sure I want to pay that for this kind of service okay so what's better is to say charge what the market rate is now when we talk about that there's another common teaching that I really don't like which is charge what the market will bear charge what the market will bear what that means is you should charge as much as possible it's an economics idea you should charge as much as possible until you start to find that you have less and less and less clients okay from from raising your rates too high right in terms of you should charge to the to the amount that you have the most income possible charge what the market will bear but let me ask you this question you are my market, right? Because I'm, I'm a business and marketing coach and you might want to hire a business or marketing coach to guide and support and encourage and uh, help you with strategy for your business to, to build your business. So you're my market. How does it make you feel when you think that, oh, George is gonna charge whatever I can bear? To me, it feels uncompassionate and so I'm going to offer a different teaching about pricing, which is, and I model it for myself. I charge from a standard of enoughness for me and compassion for my ideal clients. I charge actually as little as I can get away with. And that's so different, I think, than what most people do, which is they charge the most that they can get away with. I try to charge as little as I can get away with, meaning I charge the, the least that I can to still live where I need to be living right now. And I actually happen to live in one of the most expensive cities in the world. I live in San Francisco. This is, you know, in fact, I, you can't see it, but the Golden Gate Bridge, you could see a little bit. The Golden Gate Bridge is right there. <laughs> okay, so, so I, um, if I were living in you know Mexico or something like that and my wife have talked my wife and I have talked about that possibility in the future but right now we cannot move for for for, for uh, certain reasons personal reasons if I were living in Mexico I would charge less than what I am now even if in the future when I do move there my skills would be even more in demand in the market so I charge from a sense of enoughness like what do I need to have enough for where I live and I, I try to um, be mindful about not having more and more and more desires if I have more and more desires and need more and more things and vacations and whatever then I'm gonna have to charge you more but I charge from both enoughness and compassion this balance is what I'm aiming to strike and what I hope to model for those of you who also wish to do business from a, from a more a sense of compassion, authenticity, enoughness. And one of the wonderful things when we charge the least that we need, 
is that we also get to be able to pick more of the clients we want to work with, right? So I hope this is encouraging, and as always, I'm open to your questions and your comments.